I was, um, I was doing a, a radio interview um, a while back on Capital Radio in uh, Leicester Square, and it was live, which is always a mistake, because these little freaks hear you at home. And nowadays, because of the phone scandals, if something's pre-recorded, they have to tell you about it. So if it really is live, they bang on about it. And they were going, he's actually here now in the heart of London. It's Ricky Gervais, it's quarter to 11. And they hear you, and they go, he's there, and they come along and wait for you. <laughs> they know where you are, that, right? And I was coming down the stairs after the interview, and the security guard said, oh, there's a few autographs. And I, I, went, oh. I went up there, and there they were, about 16 of them. Nah. I don't know the collective noun. Gagalamongs. <laughs> <laughs> right? And the first thing that hits you is the B.O. It is staggering, OK? <laughs> and so I'm, I'm, I'm nice to them. They're strong. And... Uh, <laughs> fuck it. And I'm signing, I'm getting, I'm getting away. And as I'm going away, right, I feel something hit me there. And I look down, and it wasn't one of them. It was this old lady that had sort of wandered over the square. She was about 60, 65, really sort of grimy, right? And sort of had a bandana with sort of tassels on it and sort of these, a robe thing, and uh, sort of bangles. And she was selling like some sort of twig in, in tinfoil. Again, I don't know the politically correct term. Is it smelly traveller? <laughs> I think it is, I think it is. Right? And she went, lucky ever. I went, no thanks. I want to go back and go, what, what? Lucky ever. Is it? Is it? How lucky is it? Because you're covered in the shit and you're begging in Leicester Square. So, <laughs> fucking maggot. Get off me. <laughs> I, uh... Ken Dodd, sorry, right, so. Ken Dodd, me. Hundreds of old people. OK, Ken Dodd. Home, oh, you're monctious, right? <laughs> Fat, mad woman, sat there, cross-legged. <sighs> Every time Dodd goes, home, she goes, ah, like that, right? <laughs> I mean, everyone's ignoring her. They, they, she must go to every concert, obviously a bit of a stalker. Dodd, not a pot off at all, just doing his thing. Ah, hum, ah. Jane's going, don't look. I'm going, you're having a laugh, ain't you? I can't take my eyes off her. <laughs> right. I'm, I'm looking at this. Every time I go, hum, I'm looking at him, I'm looking at her, I'm looking at him like that, back and back and forth. It's like tennis in one floor over the cuckoo's nest. It was like, <laughs> and so she's there, all right? And this is a true story. After about 20 minutes, her hand goes down the leggings. Yeah. Yeah. And, oh, right? <laughs> so everyone just, I can feel them all go around. I'm going, oh my God, oh my God. Suddenly this is interesting again. Hum, right? So I'm just like, and. <laughs> she's, no, but she's not doing it discreetly. Her little fucking legs are straight out now. I mean, 20 yards in front of Dodd, tries to make little sort of jokes about tax evasion. It was under the carpet. Um, and, uh, right? And she's. <laughs> no, no, but she's making a noise. Not my fucking thing. She's make, She's sort of going. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> <laughs> because she was flipper, right? And, uh, <laughs> 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 what? <laughs> Timmy's fallen down a well. <laughs> 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 I think she wants us to follow her. <laughs> <laughs> right. So she's going on. <laughs> right. She's going away. She finishes. She goes, she goes, ah, ah, has another sandwich. <laughs> oh, true story. I don't know why I told you, but it is a true story. It's out of my head and into yours now. Oh, mmm, oh. <laughs> this show's called Science, by the way. <laughs> oh. Wikipedia says that science is the concerted human effort to understand the physical or natural world. Science seeks the truth, and it doesn't discriminate. So, something's either true or it isn't. It hasn't got a will, a hope, okay? It, you know, a moral conscience. For better or worse, it finds things out. Whether that is inventing the atomic bomb capable of mass human destruction or discovering ways to end famine. I've had an interesting phrase coined about the dropping of the atomic bomb on Hiroshima. Someone said that dropping the atomic bomb on Hiroshima is an example of science going wrong. Whereas I think it worked a treat, didn't it? <laughs> I assume that's what they wanted to happen, wasn't it? They said, how can we mount 100,000 Japanese people really quickly? <laughs> Someone said, try the atomic bomb. They went, did it work? Yep. <laughs> so the science went right. 
<laughs> just a fucking bit. Yeah. <laughs> the science going wrong, with them coming around going, did it explode? No. Oh, fuck. No? No. Oh. Did it kill anyone? One. Just... <laughs> just hit him straight on the head. <laughs> he was out shopping. <laughs> For a camera, probably. <laughs> Shut up. Fuck <laughs> off. No. But that isn't science's fault. Do you know what I mean? Science discovered that that process can release all that energy. The military did that. Governments, us, we're in charge. Science is to enhance our existence. The big one there is obviously famine, OK? And you can't have a good life if you haven't got a life at all. And I'm all for ending famine, obviously, as long as it doesn't affect me in the slightest. Um, <laughs> which brings me to this little fad that we need to stamp out. This happened to me. Christmas before last, exchanging gifts with friends, old friends, good friends, quite well-off friends, if I'm being honest. I gave them a coffee-making machine from Selfridges, top of the range. <laughs> they loved it, they loved it. And uh, they gave me mine, it was just a card. I thought, oh, vouchers. <laughs> I opened it up, it, it wasn't vouchers, it was just a card with uh, a picture of a goat on it. Um, and uh, some stuff about, I'd, and I said, what's this? They went, oh, um, our gift to you is uh, we gave a goat to an African family. What? <laughs> I'm looking at the coffee machine thing. Is it too late to say that's a mistake? Take that back. <laughs> that had it under their arm, right? So uh, I went, what is it? I went, oh, um, we bought you a goat and we gave it to an African family. Oh, did you? <laughs> oh. So I've got fuck all, basically. <laughs> that is basically what you're saying, isn't it? I mean, why the... F I don't even know this African family. <laughs> why would I give them a goat? Why would I give him my goat? A goat I didn't know I had to live in it ago. Give me my fucking goat. Where's my goat? I mean, the arrogance. So I got you a goat, but I gave it away. Next year, I'm going to go, oh, I got you a hedgehog, but I threw it to some gypsies on the way. Is that all right? <laughs> this serves no purpose. This is good for no one. They're 50 quid down. I've got nothing, OK? The African family's going, not another mouth to feed, right? <laughs> the... the goat is going, where the fuck am I? <laughs> what the f... A week ago, I was gambling around the Cotswolds. Uh, there was grass and tourists with nuts and shit. This is a fucking dust bowl. This is shit. There's no way the goat wanted to go to Africa. There was no way. It was basically kidnapped. It was abducted. It was put in a sack and bundled on a boat to Africa, like roots in reverse. There is no way that... When they said, do you want to go to Africa? It went, definitely... No, no way. No. Come on, why didn't you want to go to Africa? Um, lions. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, why don't you want to go to Africa? Um, AIDS. <laughs> well, that shouldn't affect you. It shouldn't. <laughs>